In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through some specific examples of the law of sines. So in our first example, this is the triangle that we're given. It is an obtuse triangle, and we are going to try to determine the side length of A if we are given two other angles and another side. So if I were to set up my law of sines, first of all, let's refresh our memory as to what it is. The law of sines is A over the sine of capital A equals B over the sine of capital B and then C over the sine of capital C. So what I know for sure is the A that I'm looking for, this right here, it has an angle measure down here that I know so I can begin to set that up. So I can say A is to the sine of 43 degrees as something is to something. Now the only other side that I have is this one right here, the 22 feet. But I do not know capital C. I don't know the degree measure that's up here, but I can figure out what it is. It's going to be the difference of 180 degrees and the two angles that I already have. which is 39 degrees and so that's the one that we're going to have to use alongside with the 22 feet. So I'm going to go ahead and put 22 up here and the sine of 39 degrees down here. So before I continue on I am going to go ahead and type in the sine of 43 degrees and you don't have to do this at this step. Um, you can leave it to the end. So 0 0.629. Alright, so now we're ready to do our cross product. So A times 0 0.629 is 0 0.629A. And the product of 22 and 0.682 is 15.004. And now we're going to divide both sides.